Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tomba 2. In the last episode, we cleared some more side quests, particularly the Mini Tomba side quest and the Nishiki Bird side quest, as well as a few others. Um, now, I am in the Kujara Ranch area, in this area right here, where there are pegs that you can swing on. Well, we found out about three towers in the last episode. Um, and now I say it is time to start looking for them. Whoa. Careful there. Alright, so the first tower that I like to go for is the Tower of Strength, which is located here in the Kujara Ranch area. Over here, to the left, all the way to the left, you may have noticed this weird bridge. Well, what's the point of the bridge being here if there was nothing here? So, what you do is go into your menu and look for the Spell of Strength. And use it. Half a spell of strength will make the door appear to you, so that you don't have to come back later and find it. However, it will not open it. So the spell of st or the tower of strength is pretty interesting. Uh, you don't really need to fight anything, despite what its name sounds like. The secret here is that you want to work your way all the way down this tower, which would be right here, and then work your way all the way back up. I mean, it's not really that big of a maze, but it can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And you want to head over here. And right here will be the first item of the towers, which is the Torch Hammer. The Torch Hammer has the unique ability to smash the stone blocks right here. That is very cool and very helpful. Now, there are a couple things we can grab in the Kujara Ranch with this item. So, let's go to the Ranch Summit and break some blocks. Now, uh, the Torch Hammer is personally... It's not my favorite item, but it is... Uh, probably the most useful items out of all the ones you get. It will one-hit enemies pretty much, or at least small enemies. And it is very powerful, as you can tell. Uh, and it acts like a fire hammer, basically. So right there is some AP, no, you know, no big deal right now. But when we get further up in this area, that's when the items start getting better. So, here's a magic water, if you want one of those, but where we want to go is over there, because it will hold a couple of, well, it, it will hold one half pot of life in one of these stones, which is very, very useful, um, especially if you're like me, where you're taking hits left and right for no reason. Alright, so... This is the main attraction, so let's break some of these blocks. Right here is a half pot of life, which means we only have two more left in the game. There's a lunch box right here. And a white treasure chest here, which has one of the half pots of life. So, that's pretty much all we can do with the torch hammer in the non-tower areas. So, the next tower we want to head to is in the large underground mine. So let's go to the pipe area. Alright, so, to get the last half pot of life, you'll want to head down here. Right here is another tiny mouse house. This does not have, this is not a red tail ready or a blue tail bluey thing, but, um, 
it does contain the last half pot of life, just kind of sitting right there in the area. It's rather interesting. It is the smallest half pot of life you will ever get. <laughs> anyway, so, that, if I'm not mistaken, is the last half pot of life. Yes, we have a full 16 health. So, keeping small, we want to head to... Alright, I'm gonna go this other way because I don't want to die by falling into a pit. Alright, so... Let's head over here. And down this way. Now you may notice these AP crystals right over here. Well, there's a reason they're there. Because there's a small edge that you can barely see that contains another tower. The Tower of Courage. I'm guessing that it's called the Tower of Courage because... You have to be courageous to even find it. You have to basically have a leap of faith. Alright, so let's use the spell of courage. Alright, so the Tower of Courage is actually... I personally think it should have been called the Tower of Wisdom. Uh, but yes. So, the Tower of Courage is a Mystery Mushroom and Manita Mushroom puzzle. Well, the Manita part is easy. You just need to be small. The Mystery Mushroom, however, can be rather confusing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it is... Uh, crying Door, Laughing Door, Crying Door, Laughing Door. So let's enter the crying state. And enter here. Alright, so we made it to the second floor. Now if I'm not mistaken, it's also the first uh, of the alternating phases as well. So for example, this is the first laughing door on the second floor, which I believe is the one that you enter. And then, you enter this crying door. I mean, it's a rather simple puzzle, but, um... It can be... Can it, it really can be confusing. Alright, so now you want to enter the Manita door. Simple as that. And now, you want to enter this laughing door, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, there we are. And on the top floor, you are too small to open the treasure chest. So, let us use the Manita Fruit, or Manita Mushroom. I don't know why I said Manita Fruit. And I might as well use the normal fruit while I'm here. And let's grab this chest, which contains the Glacier Boomerang. Now, honestly, I don't know what this really does. Maybe it one-hits enemies as well, and it's just a boomerang item? But... Or maybe it freezes them, I really don't know. But I've, like, never used this item. It's almost completely useless. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is grab a fire pig and turn him small before we head back to the circus village. Well, we're, we are going to get the third tower first, but we want to get as many ghost pigs as possible so that we don't have to backtrack as much. Alright, so what we want is the pig ball. We want to head over here and find a fire pig to grab. Now, one thing that's interesting about the pipe area is you may have seen all those black doors that were around the areas, and you couldn't go into them. Well, the reason for that was because you needed to capture the flame pig to cool off the area because, well, there are underground passageways 
throughout this area that um, will lead to those doors if you climb down the chains. Now the reason why I'm here is because I want to read this sign so that I can teleport to it whenever I want. I do not wish to save, but that is where the final evil pig will be if you want to just go ahead and beat the game. Alright, so what we want to do now is equip our flying squirrel clothes. Let's do that real quick. We'll also want to equip our grapple. Uh, and there we go. Easy enough. So what we want to do is head over here and grapple. Now, this is where we got a half pot of life earlier, but after you've captured the flame pig, and you kind of float down in this area right here, just like straight down here, you will enter a secret area. And to the right will be a small clump of mud. What you want to do is stand here and whack this with a hammer and it will send you back upward. Now, what we want to do is head to the coal mining town to the washing machine area. Alright, so in the washing machine area we want to wash the small clump of mud. And we get a miner's ring. Alright, so there's also a blue chest back here that contains magic juice. Uh, I don't think I ever mentioned that magic juice and magic water replenishes your magic gauge after you've used magic. It's almost completely useless except for when you're getting ice candy. Alright, so the miner who is looking for his ring is standing right down there. get under the pipes. Now from which pipe did I drop my ring? Hey, you! You got it! My ring! Thanks so much for retrieving it. And that clears that it's event. It's my most precious possession. Here, take this. Go ahead. You can have it. and he gives us an extremely large AP crystal. So the final tower in the game is in the Donglin Forest. So, but first we want to head to the Laughing and Crying Forest. Because there is something very special that we can get. That is right here, and we need to use holy water. And Baron is a very special creature because he acts as magic wings. So you can take him anywhere you want. However, there is one disadvantage. You must be large in order to ride on him. So if you get him before all of the Manita side quests, chances are you're not going to be able to use him like you would like. So that is one disadvantage, but other than that, there are none. So, where we want to head is the uh, deep forest right here. Now I'm going to grab my pig ball really quickly. Try to get this ghost pig who's on the other side for some reason. Come here, piggy. No, no. Am I in the laughing state or something? No. 
Then why can't I use it? There we go. I can throw it up. Alright. If I'm not mistaken, that's the final evil pig that we needed to collect. Let's see. We have the tiny ice pig, tiny water pig, tiny flying pig, tiny fire pig, and tiny ghost pig. Yep, that is all of them. Alright, so where we want to head for the final tower in the game is to the far left. So be careful when you're platforming in this area because if you land on these spikes at the bottom, you have to uh, redo this. Now these blocks right here, there will be more of them depending on how many of those barrel seesaws you have pulled downward. So if you are having struggles platforming, keep that in mind. Alright, so I have to go all the way back because Toma decided to be a jerk and fall. Alright, so let's try this again, shall we? I'll jump on you so you can't screw me up. Alright, let's land right here. There we go. So, this is the final AP box as well. And right here is the Tower of Wisdom. So let's use our Spell of Wisdom. Alright, now the Tower of Wisdom is actually rather easy. You don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is work your way up, up, up. Which is very easy because all you gotta do is grapple your way up. I mean, there's not much to it. It's as simple as that. I think I... nope. Okay. There we go. So yes, you want to work your way up and to the right. And then you want to use your torch hammer. So this item is required for this section and you need the white key. And you get the doka pin. The doka pin kind of acts as the grapple and the blackjack. It's essentially the grapple jack of this game. Uh, so you get not only a weapon, you also get the grappling hook. It is very, very nice to have, and it is the final legendary weapon of the game. So, I'm in the circus village right now, and right in here is an invisible traveler. Now, again, you could do this much earlier in the game if you make your sandwiches much earlier than I did, but we have one sandwich left, which is the dried fish sandwich. If you look at its note by pressing square, it says it cures invisibility. So, let's hand him this. What strange food. I hope I can handle this food in my current condition. Well, I'm a ba back to normal. Whoopee. You can see me, can't you? Thank you. What can I ever do to repay you? Don't kill me! should know about. This world has a number of towers in it, you know. Yes, we the found all three of them. Usually hidden, but if you approach the towers properly, the entrances appear. I never found out how, though. You'll have to find that out on your own. You'll surely be the one to discover all the towers. Get out there. And we already did. Alright, so yes, that's the last traveler in the game. So if you water all of the magic flowers and head over here and enter this fountain, you'll now notice that the statue has come to life. I feel good. Oh, it's been a long time since I felt like this. And all thanks to your magic flower. Oh, thank you, thank you. Look, even the fountain is back. 
That's just nasty, man. <laughs> what do you think? Surprised? If you're wounded while adventuring, please stop by. You're looking for the evil pigs, right? I'll tell you where they are. Just as I thought. It's no good. Been in that condition too long. You're pretty weak. But if your strength returns, you ought to be able to handle those evil pigs. Aha! This is it. Put this in some water. If you use these, if you get the seeds of strength, he will tell oh, you the evil yeah, pig location. I can feel the strength, and I can see it. The place where the evil pigs are. So, if you get all five of them, he will tell you where all five evil pigs are located. But if you only get a few of them, he will only tell you where a few are located. I can see the vapor of the evil ghost pig's power flowing under the road. Oh, under the pipes in the pipe area. Good. The evil pig. The evil pig with the power of earth. Looks like the red bird that lies around the platinum world. Platinum world. Well, the snowy world might count as that. So, where the red birds are, that's in the upper seesaw area. Well, that's where he was. Oh, there's an evil pig here, too. The evil pig with the power of ice awaits the end of the world behind a massive waterfall. In the water temple, yep, that's correct. This is a strange place. The evil pig with the power of fire is hidden among the trees like a draining watercourse. Well, uh, I guess draining watercourse means it's where the water drains and there was a secret passage where the water was. Well, this is hard to explain. The evil pig with the power of water laughs loudly as it sits on top of two swelling plants. That's about all I understand. I leave everything else to you. My strength has returned. Thank you. Alright, so he was the priest, I guess you could say, of this area. So yeah. It's good to have him back, I suppose. Alright, so this is the guy that wants those small evil pigs. So I say let's give him those small pigs. grudge you for that. Are there any others? Those tiny pigs. Alright, we got four others. Huh? Alright, so I'm just gonna skip the dialogue because I know you guys don't want to hear the same thing over and over five times. Alright, so we're almost done. Just two more. Huh? And one more! Huh? That's great! Now I can perform the tricks I wanted! Ball to the pigs. I'll show you first. I don't know how well it will go. Yo! Ho! Ta! I did it! I did it! You were my inspiration. I'm so happy. Here, this is for you. And he gives us a rather large AP crystal. So now he can join the circus. So, let's look at our events. Well, we have 124 out of 126 events to occur. 
Now, the number, the magic number that we're all looking for before we can go to the final boss in the game is 126 out of 128. The final two are in the Golden Tower. How we get there? Well, let's use the Manita Bell. Alright, so let's jump over here and climb our way up. Now you may have seen this tower thing before. Well, this is where the hidden tower is. What we need is five pig nose panels. Magic number five is right over here. And all five of them allow us to go to the Golden Tower. I really love all the puzzles in this game. They actually make you work, work for it. Why did I say work so weirdly? I mean, it's just really cool to me how they did this. Now, if you have the pig suit, you can jump up two steps at a time. I'm personally not that hard-pressed for it. It's just, you know, there's a bunch of steps. That's about it. Alright. Over here we go. We're getting closer to the top because the stairs are getting shorter. All right, so let's talk to this pig guy. Oh wait, yeah, I needed the pig suit. What was I thinking? I should have just equipped it. Why, Tomba, I did not tell you to do that. Oh, has a human called upon this tower? You, what is your purpose? We're journeying to find our friend, who was kidnapped by the evil pigs. Humans and evil pigs? That's a pretty absurd matchup. Still, you don't seem like deceivers. Quite an adventure, I say. Show me your adventure notes. Oh-ho! Better than I expected. Hmm. You've got the golden sun, the golden moon, and the golden star. The glacier boomerang, the torch hammer, and the doka pin. You're finally here. I've been expecting you. You are capable of capturing all the evil pigs. Tomba, as you are called. Receive this gift. You may take it with you. This is not something for just anybody, only those who qualify. Use this powder and you won't lose your strength, even if you're damaged. Go, capture those evil pigs, now. Alright, so this gives us the gold powder. Now, the gold powder is an interesting thing. Um, you can equip it and non-equip it. And, you know, it, it's just, you, you can unequip it and re-equip it, just like um, any other equipment item. The problem is, with the gold powder, it literally makes you invincible. You cannot be hit while using it. This can either be looked at in two ways, either extremely cheap or extremely rewarding, because of all the work you had to do to get to it. Now, as you saw there, we have 125 out of 127 events. The final event is located in that area where I went down, in the pipe area, 
called dot 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 question mark question mark question mark and that is exactly where we're teleporting and let's talk to Kynan Alright, so this is what also led me to believe that Kynan was the final evil pig. I mean, he's fr a freaking sorcerer right there. It, it, I mean, it was obvious, but at the same time, he's not. It makes no sense. So let's save and go over right this. And as you'll see here, we have 126 out of 128 events cleared. That is a perfect score for the game. <laughs> 